It is not the things we do in life that we regret on our deathbed. It is the things we do not. Because I assure you, I've done a lot of really stupid things, and none of them bother me. All the mistakes and all the dopey things and all the times I was embarrassed, they don't matter. We don't beat the reaper by living longer. We beat the reaper by living well and living fully. For the reaper will come for all of us. The question is, what do we do between the time we're born and the time he shows up? Because when he shows up, it's too late to do all the things that you're always gonna kind of get around to. So what I want you to do is, is think about something you want for you, that's real for you, that's important for you, that will give your life some special meaning and power. You've got to be willing to stay focused, to be creative, to be relentless, because things are gonna happen to you when you're working on your dream. to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. Think of the three biggest discouragers in your life. They're not your biggest discourager. You are. You are. changing obstacles into opportunities. And you will need to find your passion. Many of you have already done it, many of you will later, many of you may take till your 30s or 40s, but don't give up on finding it, right? Because then all you're doing is waiting for the week. Never believe a prediction that doesn't empower you. That you cannot feel sorry for yourself. It's, it's what I call bullying yourself, beating yourself up, being your own enemy, telling yourself that all those predictions, those negative opinions, they're true, they're right, you're a washed up failure, you're not gonna amount to anything. Bullying yourself is the most dangerous thing that you could do. You cannot afford to pity yourself. You cannot afford to bully yourself. You have to love yourself. Look up. Get up. And don't ever give up.